Adam would wake up after the fight. He didn't remember much. As he looked around, he didn't see loot. Did she leave him here? He couldn't believe it. He was angry, angry beyond belief. He then started to fly as he was going to try to fly back into heaven, but he couldn't summon a portal. And there was a barrier stopping him from leaving the pride ring. He was so confused. But then as he flew down, he saw a puddle and he saw his reflection. Adam was no longer an angel. He was demonic. This made Adam scared, angry, as he started to curse at the top of his lungs. He couldn't believe this. He couldn't believe his luck. Why would this happen to him? How could he come back like this? How could he become this? Adam was furious as he started to walk around. He didn't know what to do. All he knew was he needed to get revenge. Adam didn't really know what to do. He started to walk around, but then demons started to notice him. Sinners gathered him around him. You look a bit different, Adam, but I could tell that's you. That suit, it's just the same thing but red. Is that a miserable disguise? I guess you didn't really perish after all. As all the sinners surrounded him, Adam was nervous. He was a demon now. Could he even still use his powers? Suddenly, the ground started to shake as he blasted them all away and he started to laugh as he flied right at him and then it exterminated them for good. He still had his extermination powers, but this time he was demonic. He didn't really know what to do with it, but he thought maybe, maybe, just maybe, he could have fun with it. But then he heard laughter as Lucifer walked out. So you're up. <laughs> What's up, big guy? Happy to see you're back, Adam. I really am. Things will go nicely. Adam would say, what? What are you doing here? Oh, come on. Do you really think you came back coincidentally? You should have been gone forever as soon as you were destroyed. However, I decided to use my power. Since Charlie's Hotel is all about redemption, I'll give you a second chance at life. But this time, you'll have to fight for us. I wanted to make a defensive task force when the exorcists come back. I know they'll come back. I know their type. Heaven is still licking their wounds, but they will come back eventually. We may have won the first battle ever, but they'll come back for a war. And we need you on our side. You know how they fight. You know how they think. We just need to make you a better general. You were a great warrior, but your tactics were awful. Absolutely awful. Come with me. Adam would say, you really think I'll follow you? As Adam tried to attack him, but then he couldn't move. Lucifer laughed and said, oh, I made it so you couldn't attack me, Charlie Hotel. Besides that, you could do whatever you want. You just have to, you know, do whatever I say one day out of the year. But, but until then, you have total freedom. Sounds like a good deal. But I need to train you first. Adam was reluctant, but he followed Lucifer anyway. Lucifer would then begin to train Adam with tactics. He would have some of his greatest advisors show up, and he would start to teach him. Lucifer was depressed, but being with Adam made him happy. Not because he liked Adam, but because he was under his thumb. And after all the terrible things he did, after he threatened his daughter, he can use him as a weapon against heaven. It made him giddy. But at the same time, Lucifer wasn't a bad person, so he made sure Adam was taken care of. As Adam continued to train, he was treated nicely. He wasn't treated like a prisoner of war or a weapon. He was treated like a person, which shocked him. He thought that since Lucifer brought him back, you know, the king of this place, he was sword to destroy. The king of the place, he was sent to, you know, keep sinners in check, that he would be used as a weapon. And he kind of was to some extent, but he was treated like a person at the same time. This all conflicted Adam, but Adam didn't care. At least he got to do whatever he wanted. As long as he showed up to practice, as long as he was willing to learn, he could do whatever he wanted. And after a certain extent, he'll only have to show up once out of the year. However, as Adam was training, Lucifer would walk up to him and say, Hey Adam, you're going to have to go on TV and announce your special program. I'll pay people handsomely to fight for you. We're making up a defense force, since we know that loot will want revenge. And I got a new lieutenant for you, as suddenly Alistair walked in, as he said, you got to be kidding me. Alistair was starstruck. He couldn't believe this, that Adam himself was here, and he was supposed to work for him. As then Adam said, well, 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 the radio guy. <laughs> I bet you're real effing happy that you guys won against me, aren't you? Well, guess what? I'm now your boss. Lucifer then said, don't worry. He's under strict guidelines when it comes to the hotel. As he laughed, L Alistair then laughed too. So you're Lucifer's pet. How pathetic. If you're not his pet, then why'd you join? So I can see the miserable leader here. And so I can defend it and defend my title. I want to make those exorcists scream. 
Will it make you suffer when you watch me torture what was once your friends? As in, Adam and Alistair were about to go at it. Lucifer says, all right, boy, settle down, settle down. You two are going to train together. And then, Adam, you're going to go on the news. Adam and Alistair train together as they use their powers against each other. Adam was learning how to fight like a demon. He was learning how to defend himself since he usually left himself wide open because he was overconfident. He was learning to fight offensively and def defensively. And he was starting to tap into his demonic powers. He still had those angelic powers like Lucifer did, but his powers now, they had a little bit of demonic touch. As the day passed, eventually Adam would go on the news with Lady Killjoy. As the news came on, Lady Killjoy was there. Breaking news, the whole heaven-hell contract kind of, well, went to S. No one cares about that no more. Apparently, Lucifer tried to stop it after they went after her daughter, but heaven refused, so now there's no rules for it, and they're gonna come down here anyway. Tom would say, oh, God, are we in danger? Not to worry, we beat them once and we can beat them again. And now Adam defected to our side. They agreed, Lucifer and Adam agreed that they wouldn't tell him why Adam defected because, well, they wanted it to seem interesting. Adam died, though, so there would be some questions. Lady Killjoy would say, didn't you perish? Adam would say, no, 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 that was a body double. I got out of there. You see, I sabotaged the whole thing. I knew going down against that hotel was a bad idea, so I made them lose. Lucifer offered me a lot of money. I'm corrupt, just like all of you. And I realized something. I wasn't able to move up in heaven, but down here I can move up. Down here I can be rich and famous. I may have wiped you off almost to extinction, but now I'm your hero, so you should be thankful. As Lady Killjoy says, well, how insightful is that? Now, well, how much will your soldiers get paid anyway? Adam would then look at his script as he began to sigh. <laughs> The last parts of the, his notes made him upset. As Adam would say, you get paid by whatever they find in the exorcist's pockets. You also get around uh, 50000 if you survive. $50,000? Yep. And 20000 for the training exercises each day for the seven days before the battle. As then everyone was excited to join. Lady Killjoy was more nice to Adam, even though Charlie was higher than him. Charlie was super nice and kind of a pushover. Adam literally destroyed sinners, so she didn't want that to happen to her. As in the time passed, Adam got out, as his army then assembled, and he trained them. As the days came, it was getting closer to the next extermination. Adam was nervous. Could he really do it? Could he really fight his own kind? All these thoughts went straight through his head. Someone would walk up behind him. It was Charlie. Charlie would say, I'm sorry my father did this to you. I didn't want him to, but... Now that you're here to fight for us, I want to say I forgive you, and I think you can make a change. Charlie was there for him, and she actually tried to help him. Charlie actually said something nice. Adam was so shocked that he didn't even insult her. He simply sh looked at her blankly for minutes on end until finally he spoke. He simply said two words, thank you, as he walked off. Charlie smiled as she knew Adam had his own redemption arc. As Adam and his own unique army stood way, overlords, imps looking for money, and some, you know, leftover soldiers from the last extermination. All kinds of people were there in the army as suddenly the exorcists came down from the sky. As all the exorcists flew down, they were surrounded by enemies. However, Adam was practicing his strategic battle prowess and he used the strategy against them. The angels knew they could be hurt this time. This time, they weren't overconfident. This battle would be fierce. However, Adam was d defending, and he used that to his advantage, luring them into traps and knocking them out that way. This was a bloody battle, and many exorcists and demons were incinerated in this battle. However, as they were fighting, something would happen. Someone would come down and punch them. As he looked, it was Loot. Loot would say, I can't believe you did this, sir. I can't believe you betrayed us all. Adam would look down, as then he thought about himself, but then he smirked and said, I can. I'm gonna be famous down here now, Loot. As Loot and Adam would continue to fight, Loot would question Adam. Why would he do this? As Adam said, I didn't have a choice, Loot, all right? And well, I'm gonna make it big. I don't care who I'm fighting for. 
I was the first man on earth, and I am the mighty Adam. Heaven or hell, I am going to make it big. As they continued to battle each other, they pushed each other more and more with everything they got. Of course, Loot was on the back foot. However, Adam couldn't bring himself to destroy her. As he simply defeated her, he said, go, go. As Loot flew away, Adam cried and fell to his knees. As he did it, he won and he became Hell's soldier. But at what cost? Could he really be accepted down here? Or would he just be a weapon? Only time will tell. And that's gonna leave things off. Now, um, I don't know how many views this video is gonna get. Probably not a lot, not gonna lie. I'm usually used to doing Charlie videos. I did one Adam video, it went pretty well. But that was Adam and Loot. And I really don't know how to title this video. I just really want him to come back as a sinner. Hopefully, I don't want him to come back. I'm not gonna lie. Because I feel like Loot didn't have a lot of attention. She was just kind of there. She had some great one-liners and stuff, but she was mostly with Adam. So I hope if Adam's gone permanently, it'll give Loot more attention, you know? It'll give her more of a lead. Because, you know, Hell of a Boss is about male queer, queer characters. And has been more about, you know, female queer characters. And even though Loot's not queer, she is a female character. So I feel like she definitely deserves some more character development. And definitely deserves some more screen time. But what do you think about Loot? And do you want Adam to be permanently gone like me? Or do you want him to come back as a sinner? By the way, uh, someone made a song about him. I'll leave that in the description below. It is super good. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if you love this video down in the comments below. Love you all. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for giving me support. You're the best. Peace out.